Welcome to Succeed Even If. I'm Tom Marku, the communication sage and spoken word strategist. And I'm Johanna McLeod. This episode is about create transformation when you knock down the walls. I can see it now. Demolition is in this process. About demolition, I'm thinking more if lightning strikes and a tree is burned, then nutrition goes into the soil and new life comes out of that soil. So it was rough on that tree, but new life, new possibilities, these are things that happen because we live in chapters in our life. Have in you know- cycles. Yes, indeed. But you've noticed that, that in a certain chapter of your life, it kind of prepares you for another chapter? Sometimes. And what I'm going to talk about right now is to get clarity inside yourself So that you can create transformation. So that you can have that new life. That new chapter of life. So that you can rise to levels where you've never been. And see things that you've never seen. I say that you rise out of the valley. And at that peak, you can see other peaks. Other places to go that you could not even have an idea about when you were deep in the valley. There is an idea about being able to give a speech the best speech you could, if it was your last speech. And I've thought about this, and at this moment, there are certain ideas that I would communicate, and I'm going to share these ideas. The basic ideas is something I'm going to talk about right now. To aim for your next chapter. Aim for your higher level. And each letter stands for a method. A of aim is access the best. If you are going to take any knowledge that you have or any new knowledge and you're going to rise from where you are, you need instant recall. In fact, I've taught clients and audiences this idea, code access reset. And what code access reset is, is that you need to take new information and turn it into a personal code, something that you understand and that you can recall instantly. And now you own that information. It's kind of like having a user manual for certain situations. Exactly. But it's inside you. It's with you. It's in your brain. It's in your mind. You can access it instantly. And you won't lose it on the train. Absolutely. (laughs) True. One of the things I share is the idea that knowledge is just noise unless you can access it instantly. So access the best. We want you to be able to identify what are the methods, routines, patterns that you want to have in your life so that you rise because success is created by successful habits. I of aim is intend. One of my mentors, one of my coaches taught me this idea that you can set an intention and then make it happen the next day. So before I go to sleep, I have this intention. I wake up strong, grateful, kind, and healthy. And that's the kind of day I have. I have my strength. I have my gratitude. I have my kindness to share with people and I can create great relationships that way and I'm healthy and this really took me out of a time where I was really having some physical difficulties and I rose out of that and the intention the way I'm using my brain Joanna you've heard about the placebo effect yes it's where they do a blind test and sometimes people get a pill that's not the medicine but they report that they get better exactly that's the power of the mind So setting the intention is truly important. And finally, M of aim is measured by your heart. And my phrase that's in a number of my books, and on Amazon there's over 50 of my books, my phrase is measure by your heart, not others' approval. I'll share that again. Measure by your heart, not others' approval. And this is crucial. The reason is that there are a lot of people who can't give you approval. They don't approve of themselves. They're upside down. They're angry. They're frustrated. Whatever they are, they're upside down. And they don't look on you or whatever you're trying to do as important. And also, if you know that you are setting your day, and I track about 15 different factors of each day, and I know that I'm having great days, and it's not based on somebody else's approval. It's based on my own design of what I am rising with and what I am seeking to contribute in the world. About measuring by your heart, what's most important to you? Among the things that are most important to me are love, freedom, creativity, and contribution. And so when I'm active in those areas, love, freedom, creativity, contribution, I am on purpose. 
So we've been talking about this idea of what would my final speech be about? And we've shared some of the ideas that mean a lot to me. Now, I haven't given a bunch of stories about them because that's also part of the process of giving a speech. But the main thing is I'm suggesting here with this conversation that if you want to create transformation, you need to know what's important to you. You need to know what you want to hold on to. You need instant access to the best in you and the best knowledge in you. This will help you knock down the walls, knock down the obstacles, because you'll have the energy. People talk about motivation. Some people say that motivation doesn't mean much. By itself, motivation is not the whole story. But I like to talk about creative energy. One time, someone really intelligent asked me a question and said, tell me about you. Who are you, Tom? And I said, I'm creative energy. And it knocked them back. Because they were expecting me to say, I'm a son. I love my sweetheart. They were going to... Well, you still love your sweetheart, right? Certainly. The thing is, I'm not going to define myself by all these externals. I am creative energy, which means I'm not stuck in an external identity. In my life, I've explored many areas. As a feature film director, as an international speaker, as an author of over 50 books, as a creator of more than 14 online courses, as a creator of franchises, entertainment franchises, like Generally Storm, which has four novels up on Amazon. All these different things, but that's all creative energy. It's not just a label, novelist, filmmaker, film director, international speaker. It's not just labels. It's actually that I have the freedom to do all these different ways of expressing creative energy. So we've just shared a number of ideas that are very important to me and that I feel can lead to questions. So I ask you now, everyone who's listening to this, I'm asking you, what's most important to you? What are the top four things that are most important to you? I've already shared with you, love, freedom, creativity, contribution, that works for me. What works for you? What is something that you've learned that you need instant access to? When I'm speaking on a topic like darkest secrets of scaling and I'm teaching people about how they need to notice things like it's easy to make people afraid to tell you the truth, the idea is that a manager or someone who is scaling up a business has got to be able to know what's going on. And you can't know that if people are afraid to tell you the truth. All these different ideas that I'm bringing here, I'm going to ask you, what have you learned? Everyone who's listening to this, what have you learned that you need to hold on to as a principle, as a way to go about your day? Joanna, what's something that you've learned that you hold on to? I like the part that you have where that's new knowledge inside your brain, so you don't leave it on the train. And you're a poet and you know it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, now is time for... A Marku moment. Yes. Now we're going to share with you one of my books that's up on Amazon. It's called Darkest Secrets of Charisma. Overcome the lies about personal magnetism. Get people to feel your charisma and influence others with your words. Now in this Marku moment, I'm just going to share a part of this book. On page 29, Darkest Secret number three, you can access your subconscious mind through your body and habits and move beyond shyness. If you feel shy, are you really stuck? No. Act your way into a new attitude. Here is a lie that inspires this darkest secret. The lie is shy people are stuck. They cannot get better at radiating charisma because they cannot access their subconscious mind and make adjustments. This false idea holds many people back. They give up and say with exasperation, Ugh, what's the use? I am what I am. Really? If we look back at our lives, there are numerous times of before which was different than after. Think of the time before you learned to ride a bicycle. Many of us learned to swim. Before that, we were non-swimmers. You mean we were drowners? That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> Gee. You learned to read, write, brush your teeth, and more. So settling for I am what I am is not good enough for you to live with real joy and fulfillment. It's basically all about growing. Absolutely. And that's what this book is about. This book is about taking what's inside you naturally and to express it as charisma. The book is Darkest Secrets of Charisma. Overcome the lies about personal magnetism, 
Get people to feel your charisma and influence others with your words. And that's the completion of this Marku moment. Now, with this conversation, Joanna, I'm curious. We've talked about some ideas that mean a whole lot to me and that I would share as a final speech. Mm -hmm. We talked about measure by your heart, not others' approval. We talked about access the best. Knowledge is just noise unless you have instant access. And we talked about something I've been teaching clients and audiences, something I call code access reset. Because many of us just fall into default settings. That's why you have to transform new knowledge into a personal code inside you. My question for you, Joanna, is what are you going to keep from this conversation? I like the instant access because it's always with you. Excellent. And that was that whole thing about the train, mm -hmm. not leaving stuff on the train. Yes. Always carry it in your brain. That's correct. Now we're both poets. Yes, we are. This broadcast is brought to you by Tom's Eight Courses on Udemy.com. Yes, that's U-D-E-M-Y.com. I teach courses in confidence, film directing, novel writing, and more. Click to subscribe to this channel. And you'll support me, Joanna, and our message. And go to Amazon for Tom's 50-plus books. And connect with me at my website, GetTheBigYes.com. Many great moments to you. Catch you next time.